Hi there, I'm Chris Gaetano with the New York State Society of CPAs Trusted Professional. The accounting profession has been undergoing rapid changes in many areas, including its demographics. Over the years, firms have devoted significant resources towards improving diversity within the accounting profession. Despite this, however, it continues to struggle with representation at the leadership level. I'm joined here today with Rumi Buerenoff Petrozello the chair of the Society's new Diversity and Inclusion Committee, and Jan Herringer, a Society board member who also serves on the committee. So why is it important for the New York State Society to have a Diversity and Inclusion Committee? Or, you know, if we're going to make the question more elemental, why is diversity and inclusion important in the accounting profession? You know, if you do a lot of, if you look at the research that's been done with respect to inclusion in the profession, with respect to women, you have about 50% of accounting graduates who are women. So you have basically at the entry level and, and thereabouts 50-50% participation. But as you move up in the, um, the ranks of the accounting profession and the leadership positions, there's really perhaps around 20%. So there, there's a difference there. And we need to know why, why women are not um, moving up the way uh, we would expect them to and if there's something holding them back you know what can we do to help that progression so um, right and I, I, I think um, <coughs> for for many years the, the New York State Society has had the co-op program which works with with high school students um, and this was brought about because of a recognition that there was um, a serious underrepresentation of, of people of color in the profession and um, I mean apart from it may be making you feel nice mm -hmm. that like you have diversity. Uh, studies have shown that diverse workplaces, uh, you, you tend to have diverse um, uh, sort of ideas and contributions and that tends to lead to greater success in the workplace. Um, and so uh, there are business reasons for, for diversity and then um, and inclusion and then there are also just like, I don't know, moral reasons for that too so I think it's, it's a sort of a balance of both. Who would you say this committee then would be for like if I'm not a woman or, or a person of color does this necessarily mean that I don't have anything to contribute to to this committee? No mm. absolutely not I, I um, you know we talk about this all the time that it's important to have every stakeholder at the table and um, when you look at the current structure of our profession the leadership tends to be heavily male mm -hmm. and, and heavily white. Um, and in order for sort of anyone to move up or to be promoted, they have to be promoted by that very leadership. And so if that leadership does not believe in you know, any of, of the stances that we take, any of the conversations that we're having about diversity and inclusion, if that's not something they believe in or buy into, then it's never going to happen. And so um, it's, it's important, I think, for everyone to be involved in a conversation where we are all understanding where we're coming from and what's important to us and how to get to a place where we're all successful. So um, our current committee is very diverse. We, um, we have a, a range. We have men and women. We have people of color. We have um, we have white members, we, so we have white male members, and so um, and we're hoping that our our committee will reflect our state society. March eighth is International Women's Day, and their hashtag is Be Bold for Change. So be bold. So I think that means be bold yourself. You know, don't you know challenge yourself and move forward, but also for everybody around us be bold and help others achieve that. So I thought that was a great hashtag. So maybe, you know, be bold for change. Yeah. It sums it up. Yeah. It's like I, I had a fortune cookie yesterday and it said, <laughs> it said, don't fear things, understand them. So I was like, Excellent. Okay, yeah. I'll be, I'll be boldly understanding. Yeah. <laughs>